a petition has been signed by tens of thousands to have ex-post office boss Paula Venel stripped of her CBE honor with the campaign skyrocketing from 100,000 to over 300,000 in a matter of hours. The urgent demand comes after the release of the new ITV drama Mr. Bates vs. The Post Office which explores the IT scandal which led to hundreds of innocent workers' lives being ruined as they were wrongfully convicted. More than 700 branch managers were prosecuted between 1999 and 2015 in what has been described as the biggest miscarriage of justice in British legal history. Ms. Van Ilse, who was the CEO of the Post Office from 2012 to 2019, is now facing renewed calls to be stripped of her CBE which was awarded to her in 2019 for services to the organization, The Mirror reports. The 65-year-old apologized for the suffering caused after 39 sub-postmasters convictions were quashed by the Court of Appeal. The petition was initially set up three years ago and gathered just 1,000 signatures in 36 months but after the thrilling ITV drama left horrified viewers sick to their stomach, the numbers have soared to insane figures in just a matter of one or two days. The petition on 38 degrees shows how the signatures have already reached the 10,000, 20,000, and 50,000 threshold in the last two days amid renewed publicity over the scandal. The signatures have soared to well above 300,000 and have almost met its goal of 400k. However, it's not just the public who feels that Ms. Venels should be held responsible for her actions as Tory Minister Kevin Colin Rake also said on ITV's Good Morning Britain on Wednesday that the former post office CEO should consider forfeiting her CBE over the scandal. Kevin Holland Rake, the minister responsible for postal services, said the issue needed to be looked at as he faced a grilling on compensation to the victims. He said, I've got to say if I was Paula Venels, ultimately you've got responsibility for what happened, you are the chief executive. If I was Paula Venels I would seriously consider handing that, CBE, back voluntarily. He added, but we've got an inquiry. Looking at all the evidence. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages. It will report and that should identify who is responsible, in the post office or indeed potentially in Fujitsu, and those people wherever possible should be held to account. When asked whether any individual whose lies or dishonesty has led to an innocent person going to jail should be prosecuted, he said, that seems reasonable to me. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a prosecutor, so there needs to be a legal route to that. It was revealed last month that postmaster victim Alan Bates, who is portrayed by actor Toby Jones in the ITV drama, selflessly turned down an OBE as others continue to suffer so badly. He said, The first thing that sprang to my mind while reading the letter was Paula Venel still had a CBE. I felt so deeply insulted. She presided over a policy of harassing hundreds of innocent people. It's not just that the government hasn't asked her to return it. What's even worse is that despite knowing the strength of feeling about it, how people have suffered and some cases died on her watch, she doesn't feel inclined to give it back. An independent public inquiry into the scandal was launched back in September 2020 and was chaired by retired Judge Sir Wynne Williams. It became a statutory inquiry in June 2021 and is ongoing. Mr. Bates vs. The Post Office is available to stream on ITVX now.